Uh, why did I come in here? I don't actually know. What do I have to sell you? Ooh, nice bow. Come on, come on, replica, huh? Doesn't do any damage, barely. No, wait, 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 wait. What do you want? I want to see if I have anything to sell you. I actually forget what I have on me at the moment. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Possibly. Oh, right, I'm selling you this. A good price Taking or a, a chance. good customer. And I guess I have nothing else to sell you. Drummer arrows and a bow of infliction. Hmm. 146 damage. What does my bow do? 84. Wow. 146. Weighs 14. Weighs eight. Mm. Come back and see me again. That's a very nice bow. I may be back someday for that bow. Bye. I wonder, without checking my journal, if I should go speak to Gilgondrin. Oh, also, I think I owe Ursani like eight gold, don't I? Her husband's uh, possessions at the time that I found his body. Let's actually stop by her house before we. Excuse me. Before we uh, move on from Braville. Are you home, Ersani? Yes, you are. Hello. Please. I wish to be alone with my thoughts. Oh, I just want to bribe you. You know, which is giving her the money in the game mechanic, but I can't. Um, do I have anything on me that's worth about eight gold? I could just drop here. That wouldn't make me look like an asshole for having dropped it. You know what? One repair hammer is worth ten gold. I'm going to say that's... Whoops! No, I don't want to do that here. I'm going to drop one repair hammer. This is roughly equivalent... To your husband's dowry, madam. Oh, my poor Alaron. I know, I'm terribly sorry. Your health, madam. Damn, that's that feels to Nebish like the one that got away. The one that he actually could have done something about and failed. It is a failure in his mind, even though she did reward him, but. And this fighters guild we're gonna do something about this i don't know when we're going to actually meet somebody from the fighters guild because they oh i was gonna say they always keep their door locked but someday we're gonna be able to get into the fighters guild and we're gonna give them a piece of our mind because there have been some times well one time in particular where there have been dangerous things happening in town sometimes it's something that we actually bring into the town ourselves but no matter and the fighters guild should really make themselves more well known be a better defense to the town that they are uh, uh, resident in. Hello. Good morning. morning. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go in right now and give them a piece of my mind. Call themselves the Fighters Guild and don't even defend their own home. Excuse me. Well met. Whoa! Yes. Okay, Are I want to well? talk to them. Fantastic. Thanks I'll talk to asking. one of you. Good. The Emperor and his three sons dead, right under the noses of the Imperial Guard. It's a disgrace. Well, right here in the room, they just do this. Good day. Yeah. Excuse me. Can I We're looking for recruits. Interested? Possibly. I more so wanted to tell you that I think you guys don't have your priorities in order. If you're looking to join up, you should speak with Velena Donton in Coral, Azan in Anvil, or Burrs Grokash in Shadenhall. Hmm. I don't know when I'll be in any of those towns. When if I take a look around? If you're interested, see Velena Donton in Coral, or Azan in Anvil, or Burrs Grokash in Shadenhall. Right. I, I heard that part. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm just going to take a look around then. Two survivors were pulled from the mine in Farragut after being in there for weeks. Sounds like things are improving there. Hey, I did that. Yes, that was me, actually. Cool. Farewell. I'll stay away from them. I'm just going to take a look around, I think. 
Whoa! That's glass armor right there. Some rather pedestrian weapons. Huh. How do you do? Daedra. The old ways? Yeah, nothing there. Hmm. Just looking through the books that they have. You know, Nebish, uh, if there was a skill that he wanted to improve, it would be what he could learn from the Mage's Guild. Uh, Fighter's Guild, sorry. How do you do? I do well, sir. Hmm. Yes, I think. I think we could actually teach people of the Fighter's Guild a thing or two about how to operate things. Manual of Arms? Nope. Not a skill book. I'm just kind of looking around for skill books because I'm kind of cheating, actually, I guess. Um. Mithra Menace. That's a heavy book. Two pounds. Hmm. I like that the porter keeps an eye on me, too. That's rather realistic, I think. Oh. Hmm. Well, maybe when we are in Coral, Anvil, or Shaden Hall, we will speak to uh, somebody in the Fighters Guild about joining. It's nice to see their door unlocked for once, though. Oh, how's our luck? Now that I think about it. Still hurt. Why would that be? Maybe the... I don't think luck is affected by the basic primary needs. Could it be that because we're hungry, our luck is lower? Or fatigue? Ah, no, our fatigue is fine. How are you? Oh, I'm well. Excuse me. Anyway, we're going to stop by the fair deal. Uh, I don't... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we have anything to trade, but good day. We'll check, and then we'll go buy again. Gilgandrin. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? All right. Checking to see if I have anything to sell you. Uh, looks like not. Well, that's, a, uh, that's a pretty good poison. Yeah, I should keep that in mind. Uh, Shadow Banish Wine? No, 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 don't sell that. Um, super Feather. Nope, that's it, I think. Yeah. Okay, this was a waste of a stop, but okay. Uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something just now. Stopping by this place to talk to Gilgondrin, and then... I forget. There's something else I was going to do. Oh, maybe trying to get a it's blessing. It's my pleasure. Please continue. So, tell me, uh, Gilgondrin, was there a sighting of the Forlorn Watchmen last night? Never heard the name Grantham... Ah, uh, okay, fine. You too. So I guess the quest is pretty much done until I pick up the treasure. Then. I just didn't want to check my journal, that's all. Let's swing by the chapel one last time. See if maybe we can... Chapel attack. No, surely not this one. Not while we've been in town. Um, one last time. See if we can get a blessing finally. And then we'll be on our way, I think. Please tell me your donations taker is around. Are you the donations oh, taker? No, yes. you're not. Damn it. You too. Who are you? You the donations taker? I want to make a donation. Uh, where is that? Services. 
I can sell you spells. We priests of Mara use their restorative spells. Oh, okay. Basic training in the arts of speech craft. Teach you for a modest fee. Mars offers advanced training and restoration if you're more interested in learning these arts. Uh, who's the donations collector, damn it? Initiate Bettingford will be happy to accept your donations. The money goes into funding the Marin Knights and to the poor populace. Thank you. Uh, okay, so what's, uh, what Only spells do you sell? Goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Aquatic feet. Water, oh, that's the same high-level water walking spell, which I don't need. Divine intervention. No. I mean, that'd be nice, but no, I can't cast it. Reflection, cure paralysis, cure poison, fortify speed. Ooh. Hmm. Restore physics. Huh. Respite, respite, convalescence, heal, heal, heal. Resist shock and resist disease. Hmm. Initiate Bettingford. Where the crap are you? Lady Mara, I would really like to get your blessing, but it's not allowed, apparently. Ursani! Please. Still can't, still can't bribe you. Okay. What do you want? Lava. Damn it! Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take a chance here, you guys. Sorry, this is probably... Uh, okay, I'm gonna pay a price for this. Ah. Ah. But, I wanna find... the damn initiate that takes donations. And I feel like she should be out here somewhere. And I'm trespassing now, but... I want to get a damn blessing. Hello! Excuse me. Hello! By the nine to Restricted to visitors, please return to the chapel. I would, gladly. Where the hell is your initiate? Oh, yes, I know, I know. You can follow me all you want, lady. I'm finding your initiate. Not in here. I'm not stealing anything. It's all over. Oh, Lord stop Brenda. it! Your spree is. That's too bad. Okay. Bah. Whatever. Fine. They arrested me for. Trespassing in the chapel, and I paid a fine, and I'm now outside the castle. Right? Right, game? I just wanted a damn blessing. Oh, I have a bounty now. I shouldn't have, have a bounty. I should have paid it off. I'm Vera Leris, captain of the Breville Guard. Well, madam, I think you need to have a talk with the proprietors of the chapel. A uh, young Dunmer like myself, trying to get a blessing, couldn't even get one because there's no donations taker available. And when I knocked on closed doors, I was arrested for trespassing. I don't trust you enough to talk about that. Well, oh, you don't, do you? Hmm. All right. 48. You're full of it. I'm full of it, huh? Joke? You should be ashamed. Okay, that's not going well. Um, admire? Don't try to manipulate me. Hmm. Talk tough to me. I love tough guys. Oh, this isn't going very well at all. You're a big fat liar. I'm done talking to you. Okay, that went horribly. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should use one of my super fortify personality ones. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't really care that much, but I'm gonna try it. Um, let's save that one for when we really need it. Let's try this one. Go on. Please. What? Go bother someone else. Ah, that was a waste of a potion. Wait. Go on. Really, you have to give me a chance. So? Go bother someone else. All right. Well, the guards in Breville really, really, really dislike me. 
They've made me pay two fines now, one for reckless endangerment, one for trespassing in a holy place, and I've also managed to piss off the captain of the guard. What time is it? 3.10. Thursday. What in the hell? Damn Khajiit. Swimming up the river on a horse. Crazy people. Right. Well, I guess some lunch is in order. I'm going to step inside, though. Uh, where should I step inside? Maybe... Uh, I really don't want to go to Lonely Suitor. Eh, you know what? I will. Cardin was the only real bum in there, and he's no longer alive. It's just that everybody else here doesn't like me, but I'll stop here for some lunch. Hello, hello everyone who hates me. Hello. Hello, pantsless Argonian. Oh, hello. Music is so annoying. Uh, right, water. And our last blackberry. Some corn. Uh, we're saving the grapes because they do water walking whenever we have another item that does. Do the onion and the potato. We're saving the rice. We're not eating that. That's no good. We're going to take a... Take a... We're going to eat a wine and priory blue cheese. A big meal right there. While I'm here... Go ahead, please. Do I need food? Eh, I should probably take a little bit of food. Ah, uh, let's do business. Don't know when I'll be back to a town, you know. Ooh. That's cheap, and I'll take it. Man, you bought that for a song. <sighs> Ooh, this is actually quite good. It's a Sujama! <gasps> now, Nebish would know what Sujama is. I think it's reasonable for me to take one of these. Uh, I'll just buy one. Man. Makes you a stupid drunk, though. Look at that. Drain intelligence. Wow. Buy all the white bread. Uh, oh, a chocolate cake? No. No, no. Can't be very good in this dump of a place. Orange. And both cornbreads. An excellent deal. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for sounding so friendly. You too. <laughs> All oh, right, I didn't. Did I eat lunch? I did eat lunch. Yes, I did. Okay. Oh god, this weather. Right. Okay. Where am I going? I have to go back to the end of this little stream, don't I? Ah, very well. That horse is still there too. All right. Here goes. I mean, it's, we're already soaking wet. I don't really know why I'm bothering doing this, but... Okay. All oh, right, I still have a bounty. Okay. I should have paid that off though when I got taken to the castle. Why is that not paid off? Ah. Bastards. Oh, you know what I should be doing? I should be going along the shore here so that when I come back this way I can just follow the road. Which is what I said I would do, because the road along here is very interesting. I'm so heavily encumbered that a single jump uses up all my fatigue. Okay, we've already gotten the one Nernroot that was right there. What? 
What? Oh, leather land tear. Really? Otherwise it looks good here. I'm just gonna go for it. Whoop! Oh! What the? <laughs> okay. That didn't happen while I was swimming. That happened while I was waiting, I'm gonna say. But uh, his body's too far out in the river for me to do anything about it. Boats and a pumpkin patch. A very pretty stained glass window of Mara over there. Oh, not, not pumpkins. Tomatoes. Mm, I'm not that hard up for food. Hmm? Oh, just a rock with a low texture. Now I did already do uh, that shore. That was where we saw Blood Main Cavern, I think it's called. This terrain is just hell to walk along the shore. But the music's pretty. Big plus there. So, I feel I must confess to you guys, since I started the Oblivion LP, my subscriber count has gone up considerably, um, both in actual, you know, in absolute figures and in the rate of subscriptions, rate of new subscriptions. Uh, I did not think that would happen. I didn't start the LP because I wanted more subs, uh, and I never thought that it would increase the way that it has. I thought for sure that this would be a less popular LP than, say, Skyrim. But, for whatever reason, my subscription rate has gone through the roof. Uh, it used to be that I'd average anywhere between like 80 to 100 sub subs a month over the course of my channel's life. Recently, it's since the uh, Oblivion LP started, it's been closer to... Um, 150 a month. Ooh, look at this. So, I mean, I'm excited, I guess? And it's it's neat to have a larger audience. It's neat to have more people that really like what I do. Um, it's a bit of a strange feeling, though, to have this much growth this fast. But, I suppose as long as everyone likes it and is coming here for the right reasons, I cannot object. So welcome to all the new subs who have started uh, just since the beginning of the Oblivion LP. Welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy what you see, whether it's the Oblivion LP or whether you branch out and watch some of the other LPs I've done. Um, and again, this is just me trying to fill airtime. <laughs> but genuinely actually wish wishing everyone well. New viewers and viewers who have stuck with me for a long time now. is beautiful, but I don't think I'm going to bother going up this waterfall. It's been hard enough just getting over here. Whoops. Maybe I can jump this if I do this. Ah, uh, not quite. There we go. This is a beautiful spot for some dinner, I think you'll agree. Because it's probably about that time. I haven't looked, but that's probably about what time it is. White bread, corn, and an egg.
Our greaves and shoes are soaked. We're making a ton of noise. <laughs> oh well. This is a very cool area though. I imagine, Pem speaking here, I imagine there's something to see if you were to explore up around there. Like that tower there, or over this bridge structure, a kind of aqueduct looking structure. But, um, I'm not going to do it, because I don't think Nebish would think to do that. In Nebish's mind, people don't hide things in random spots like that. I'm going to look at the map and see just where we are, though. Old West Wheeled Passage. Huh. So from here, we'll continue on the road until we get to that fort by where we saw Mr. Blakely's ghost. This is the pumpkin patch I was thinking of, I think. Oh! Well, never mind. If we, it's right here, we would explore this, I suppose. I was thinking we'd have to climb all the way up there, and I'd never... Nebish would never think to climb that, but... On his way back to the road, he found this, so I'm going to say we'll do this. Hmm. Is that it, then? Ah, there's the road sign that leads us to Skingrad. Does it go this way? Uh-oh. Back to the bridge. Back to the bridge. Oh, shit. Come on, bear. You have to meet me out here on this bridge. Oh, you want to, don't you? But you can't. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Ow. Don't fall off the bridge. Oh, he doesn't like that. He doesn't like that he got hit. Oof. Thus ends the bear. Well, that was a particularly fun fight. Um, also, since we know that bears don't really have anything on them uh, that we'd want anyway, we'll not even bother going to find his body. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, what I was going to say was that may be where that one Skingrad road sign outside of Breville was leading us. But I sure didn't see anything that looked like a road over there. Also, it's occurring to Nebish that he should probably start looking for a place to set up camp for the night. Right, this is where the well is. Yeah. Okay. Sheep's pen. Hmm, can I get around this side? Looks like I can. Nightshade. I am very tempted to climb that. Both Pem and Nebish, I think, would be tempted to climb that. Come on. There we go. Go. 
Can I make it? Move my eyes to uncross here. Uh, that might be as high as I can get without another fortified jump. Without a better one, anyway. Ah. Oh, come on. Hmm, I keep hitting something. Ah! No, 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 no! Ah. what happened to my spell sound effect, but... Hmm. No, 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 no! Ah! Damn. No! Hang on, guys, I won't try this forever. But I do... I'm... I feel like I can do this. Uh, if I don't fall off all the way. Hmm. Okay, let's save it here. <laughs> and... Come on, come on. Ah, so close. Oop, 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 oop. Well, I'm casting the crap out of the spell, so that's good. Come on. Okay, that's that. Oh, for... F <laughs> okay, last try. If I can't get up to that ledge, I'll just give up. Mm. Oh, what the hell? Why can I do it sometimes really easily and other times not at all? Nope, not that time. There. Maybe jumping this way, but then there's nothing to jump to from there, is there? Except that, which is much too high. Ah! Oh, wait, am I on it? I'm on it. Oh, good. Okay, now where do I go from here? Nowhere. That's where. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? I've tried so hard, I think I'm going to cheat this last bit. And this is... This is... Uh, okay, this is cheating. This is cheating. I'm not going to lie. But, I think Nebish has earned this. He's worked very hard to get up here. Ah, there we go. So after much work, we found our way to the top. There's a new moon there. And there's actually nothing up here apart from a decent view. Let's see, that's an actual structure of some kind with smoke coming out of the chimney. We should check that out. Maybe we can actually stay there for the night. Braville is that way, but you can't see it at all. Okay, well, I'm still kind of glad I did this. And I'm okay with having cheated it. Especially given that there's actually nothing up here worth... There's no chest or anything, so if I'd, if I'd found a chest, I probably would not have opened it, given that I cheated to get up there. Oh, wait, there's a person here. Hello. Excuse me, before you go inside, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Ah. What is... Bender Boggett. I was actually going to ask him if I could stay... The evening here. I'll go inside and ask. Huh. This is very interesting, all this. 
Okay, so since we actually spoke to him outside, I'm going to knock on the door. Get out of here. I just wanted to see What can I do for you? If I could possibly stay the night? A good man who honors the nine may visit the way shrines of Akatosh for blessings of speed and magica. Magica. Huh. All right. 48. Oh, it's 48 and he really doesn't want me in here. I guess that doesn't change if I increase it then, huh? That works for me. Okay. I will um farewell. I'll set up camp outside, I suppose. Oh, hello. What can I do for you? I think I'm staying outside tonight. Take care. Unless there's a bed you let me stay in, but I doubt it. And he's going to follow me around, isn't he? Yeah. Well, let me stay in the bed. Okay. Sorry, I'm on my way out. I will uh, set up camp right by this well, though. So, yeah. yeah, that's a good spot. Right by the well is a good spot. Okay. Right here, then. Uh, where is it? Perfect. Thank you to Farmer Boggett. Is that his name? Raven Watch. Yeah. He's a very kind man to let me stay out here on his property. I imagine it would be considerably safer here than if I just camped in the woods somewhere. So we'll get some sleep, and then tomorrow we'll work our way toward uh, Bon, I think is the name of that alien ruin. Explore that, and then move on to the fort if we uh, come out in one piece, of course. Eight hours of sleep at 10 a.m. Uh, 10 p.m. That's fine. Okay, then until tomorrow, everyone, take care. And I will see you the next time we roleplay Oblivion.